Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I'm gonna go over some of the new features in Rebel 6. It was launched just today, and it is the best drawing and painting app that I've used. So I really love this update, um, and I'm gonna to talk to you about some of my favorite features. So I have a long-standing relationship with Escape Motions. I think they are great people, very kind, um, very real people. So I, I do the tutorials for them. So I, I've got uh, the Rebel 6 beta that I've had for about a month. And uh, I've been able to go through a lot of the features and did the new features video for them that's on their YouTube channel. I'll link to that so you can check it out. Um, if you purchase the software, please use my affiliate link. It helps support my family in a very real and very meaningful way. So. Uh, if you're looking at getting Rebel 6, if you're even if you're not getting it today, click that link, then go to their website, and if you buy it a week from now, it'll still um, support me. Uh, so, again, thank you. All right, so let's look at some of the new features. I have here a reference image up. We're making version 3 of Tablet Pro, so I have a couple of things testing and going on in the background. All right, so... Uh, I have a reference image up, which I dragged over from Pinterest. And now I have guides on. And so we're going to show these guides, show reference image guides. And what you can see, these are non-printing guides. Uh, this image, by the way, I did during the live stream yesterday. Um, it's very hard to do <laughs> and paint on camera. Uh, while talking to people and trying to keep track of different things. So you can see here, these guides show me exactly, and I place these on here. So let's say I want to make that one different. I can move it if I want to delete it. I just drag it. Oops. It's actually, you have to drag it off and then it will disappear. And so I use these to make sure my proportions were in the right space. This really helps me align the eyes and the nose and the mouth, uh, you can preview here. So this is actually putting this on the canvas. And now I didn't trace, I don't like tracing, but I like the idea of taking out a lot of the guesswork, even if you're really um, a crappy artist and you, and you trace, it'll make your work look a little better, but it's not gonna make it good if you're not a good artist and you don't know what you're doing. Uh, anyway, I don't like tracing. I don't want to trace, but I do want to not spend a whole bunch of time putting things in the right spot and going, oh, the eye's a little high, it's a little wide. Like to me, that's not the fun part of creating. I like picking the colors and adding the style and all of those different things. Okay, so here, these guides are really useful for that. You can turn on and off, show on canvas. Uh, so for instance, we do that, we can move this to the side. You can see what this actually looks like. You can paint over the top of it. Uh, let's see if that, let's zoom in and realign this. All right, that's pretty good. And view reference images again. All right. So there's a lot of different things inside of reference images if you're doing any painting, you can turn on grayscale on both the canvas and on the uh, reference image, so you can really pay attention to those values. And those values are what's going to push and pull. The nose is going to look like it's flying off the face if it's too bright, if there's too much white in it, and it's gonna feel like it's sinking into the skull if it's too dark. So understanding that using these, view grayscale, these different tools, and I think probably what I like the most about the new version of Rebel is, is it has refined the art creation process for users. In Rebel 5, they added pigments. So we get these beautiful colors. So over here, if we take, uh, let's do this here and we'll take some red and we'll take some blue. And if we blend these, using the wrong one here. If we blend these, you're going to see we get these beautiful colors. This is Rebel 5's uh, most notable feature. Rebel uh, 4, there was the addition of the water 
So here, we're going to add a little water here and we're going to blow it. And you can see this really vibrant, lively canvas. It's interacting with the texture on the paper. And I turn the texture way down because when I'm drawing something, I don't want a lot of texture. So here, let's push this. Let's add some more yellow. And you can see this is a living canvas. This is Rebel 4 and Rebel 3. This is their, their main notable feature. Really cool stuff. Rebel 5, the canvas textures and everything. Rebel 6, everything is easier to do. There's brush favorites. There is, uh, let's go ahead and delete this sloppy mess. Uh, by the way, on the left side of the screen is the artist path from Tablet Pro. Um, that's my software. Uh, I work directly with Peter and the team at Escape Motions to make sure that these two programs work really well together. I'm using a Surface Laptop Studio and I can do uh, simultaneous pen and touch, which means I can navigate around the screen and do everything I want to be doing very easily without a keyboard. This is a lovely way to work. All right, so here we have uh, all the processes that we use, like masking over here. Uh, you can add uh, clipping masks, layer masks. There's uh, liquify and warp tools, which actually work really well. Let's turn off these uh, reference image guides so we can see that. And let's shrink this down. All right, so we're going to go here to liquify and pay attention to which one you're using here. I like soft because it, it really does a good job of not um, ruining the artwork. Okay, so here, by the way, this is not my favorite piece of art I've ever done. I just did this during the live stream yesterday, so we're using it today. All right, so here, let's select the layer. We push. You can see this is doing a lot of damage because we have it on smudge. Let's undo that. We're not smudging. We are using the liquify tool. All right, uh, let's use push here. And if I wanted to make all sorts of adjustments here, I can actually get a really nice result. And I'm, I'm doing this too quickly here, but you can get a really nice result with this liquify tool that would normally destroy the image. Uh, so let's say that we want to adjust the nose. You can see we can actually adjust it a lot and it still looks good, which is to me, this is unreal because in the past, what I would do, is I'd go, oh crap, the eye is in the wrong spot. And so I'd move it, I would tweak it, and then I would accept it. And I would uh, then deselect the layer. I would go in here and I would blend. Uh, so let's blend. We're going to use, actually, we we'll use this marker right now. And I'd go to four, blend mode. And then I would push all this around and try and make it look fairly decent, right? This is a whole lot of work. And the point is to just get the eye into the right spot. So now instead we can use this wonderful liquify tool. And I'm still using the beta of the software. So keep in mind, some of these little things are going to be uh, fixed in the release. All right, so here you can see I've made some wonderful adjustments can really change the way that a lot of things look very quickly without, like I said, without destroying what's already there. Like that, those changes are not easy changes to do and, and have something still look good. Okay, so that is liquify. If we go over here to transform, there is warp. Warp places a grid on the screen and you can move things around. Please use a new uh, fractal image processing. 
that fractal image processing, it keeps the image uh, using machine learning and AI, it keeps the image looking really crisp and it makes intelligent predictions on what you're trying to do instead of just moving stuff around. And you end up with all these pixels in the weird places and glitches and artifacts. And, and this is intelligent, really does a nice job. And this is Rebel 6 Pro. There's a bilinear process used for warp and liquify in Rebel 6 standard. Both of them useful tools. One of them is going to require you to do some uh, additional work to refine it afterwards. It just doesn't look as um, usable, printable. All right, so we're going to say cancel there, but you can see how this works. You can adjust the numbers and a uh, handful of different options there. So there's uh, favorite brushes. Let's click OK. That's right here. You can copy over brushes really easily into these look like a lot of the same brushes uh, into the favorites ca category. Let's delete all that mess. And all you got to do, let's say we want a pastel in there. I really like try hard. So we're going to right click or we can use the context menu, copy brush preset over to favorites. And it's right here now. Now this is great because this and this are not connected anymore. That means any changes you make over here are not going to destroy the original. It's now in a separate location where it's easy to find and switch to. Um, this category right here has a shortcut, which is um, it's Shift B. And let's turn this on. It's Shift B. And very easy to jump over there and start using these brushes. Now, coming soon, they're adding, so one, two, three, four, and five. That's what these are over here. Those switch between the different painting and erasing modes. Uh, coming soon, six, seven, eight, and nine will load your first, second, third, or fourth brush inside of favorites um, for you. So it's a hotkey that will directly take you to your favorite brush. This is something that I asked uh, very nicely, uh, just the correct number of annoying times uh, for them to say yes and add it. Uh, not that they're against, you know, good ideas, but it was my idea. So you're welcome, everybody. Okay, so the other things that they added in here is a much more powerful brush creator. So we're going to look at that quickly. Um, inside of oils and acrylics, they have some already created really cool brushes, uh, these grunge ones. So let's pick a brush. You can see there's some really cool, beautiful brushes that you can create. And these look fantastic. Uh, they remind me of like um, some of the really beautiful brushes that you see inside of Photoshop. In Photoshop, uh, there's no texture, there's no, not texture, there's no um, impasto. So here you have impasto, so you can see this is thick paint. And that's for just a moment, let's switch to a thicker canvas with more texture. And you see that when we paint here, this is actually going to work with the canvas texture. And so if we add like a little bit of watercolor, let's do something blue over the top. The water is going to, and watercolor is going to move into the low spots of the thick paint. This is super cool. Let's push some of this water up here. Let's add, we're gonna add a little bit more water just so this is easier to see. And you can adjust all these settings, but look how cool that is. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Like I said, vibrant, living canvas that's easier to use than ever before. Okay, so new brushes. And with that, uh, let's go ahead and I think this is so pretty. We're going to talk about the brush creator. So we're going to go over here. I have a Dodge 
brush. This is inside, I believe, the pencils. Um, not pencils, this is inside. Oh, cool. There's some new ones I haven't even played with yet. Uh, right over here, Dodge. So what this does is this is a mode, a painting mode here, rendering normal linear dodge paint blending. So these are blending modes for the brush. That means like this light that we're seeing right here, if we wanted to add, uh, let's pick a responsible color here. We're going to use my favorite brush one, dodge, increase the size. Uh, opacity is uh, quite a bit too high. Uh, and this should not be glazed multiply, it should be linear dodge. There we go. All right, and let's switch this. We want this to be softer. We're going to save these changes. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, and let's drop the opacity even further. Turn this to glaze, and I think we are just about ready. All right, you guys ready for the magic? Okay, we're going to turn on lock transparency, which I have a button for right here. It says forward slash, notice it's on right here. And now I can come in here and paint light, and then switch over here to highlight. This highlighter should actually, oh, you know what? This is supposed to be shadows. I just turned my shadow brush into my, <laughs> my light brush. Okay, I'll fix that later. All right, so the other one is uh, supposed to be here a shadow brush, and it would do the same thing. It would give you shadows. Uh, you can see here. It's really cool, really cool. So Brush Creator has a lot of new options. So you can make uh, a lot more um, uh, like effects brushes and uh, a lot more grungy, grainy, gritty brushes than you could before. So I think that's really a great feature. Uh, there are, in general, there are grids that you can snap to. So if we go to View, Show Grid, you can see the grids here. You can snap items to it, center or to corners. Uh, there's guides. So let's go view, show guides. That's right over here. You can drag down. You can put guides on this canvas and snap to them. Or drag down and, okay, yes, you have to tap off the canvas. Okay, and then you can remove these by dragging them off or pressing the delete key. And we're just going to hide those. Oh, and there's a new um, light mode. So you can switch the UI from dark to light if you like. Uh, I was told that this is something that was highly requested in certain parts of the world. And actually they did a really good job. The color scheme that they picked is really pretty. All right, there is a handful of other features. If you guys have questions about Rebel 6, then um, put in the comment section. Ask questions here. I'll try and do a couple live streams in the next um, couple days so that you guys can ask me direction, um, so you can ask me questions directly. I will also be doing tutorials on Rebel that will be free for subscribers for two weeks. They'll come early. The tutorials for Rebel will come early to members of this channel and then after the two week free period. So members will get it for a day or two early typically and then subscribers will get it for free for two weeks and then it goes back into the member catalog. So anyone who wants a paid course doesn't have to leave YouTube to get quality content uh, for Rebel tutorials. So subscribe right now so you can get those for free or if you wanna support this channel and my family then consider becoming a member. All right, you guys, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.